<laughs> My lord. Now tonight, boys, it's a the, the theme is coaching. Ooh. Coaching. All the questions are to do with coaching. And I'll start with you, Matthew. Of all the assistant coaches you had at Essendon, who was the most underrated? Underrated. Uh, that's a tough question. The best assistant I ever had well, was, was Mark, Mark Harvey. Was really? The best assistant I ever had, yes. OK, good. Nice direct answer. I like that. Ross, of all the players you've coached, mm. and I, I, I'd like to, them still to be playing, who is going to make the best senior coach? So think of all the charges at Freo. Maybe there's a couple still running around at St Kilda. I'm not sure. Yeah. Uh, I think Michael Walters could be the first Aboriginal senior coach. Mm. Wow. After that Bobby Farmer. That impressive. Not Incredible. Not, not Football smart, yeah. drives training. Modern era. Modern era. Yeah. So not Bar Modern Barry, era. Bar Barry, Barry yeah. Cable and Polly Farmer, of course, yeah. 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 Um, sees the game, drives training, turnaround story, family man. Oh, I think he can get it done. Really? That's, that's And that's something fantastic. he wants to do, Ross? Is it wow. something he wants to do? Yeah, he's oh, very yeah. passionate okay. about it. Yeah, he's, he's wonderful. His life. Yeah. Now, Ed, this is um, going back a few years and the situation has clearly changed a lot, but how much sleep did you lose over the prospect of having to terminate Nathan Buckley? It was a Not, tough year. It was a tough year, but uh, it didn't ever get that far, Caro, because I took a lot of advice from uh, Scott Pendlebury. I asked him directly, what do you think? And he said, no, he is the man. And uh, from but there... But it wasn't certain. There was a period of uncertainty. Well, uncertainty in the media. But, no, uh, no, no, uncertainty because you didn't make a decision until the end of the year. No, well, that was because we weren't going to make a, a rash decision. We wanted to go through. We had bigger things. Nathan was only one part of it. We went through the board, as you know, Ed, the whole thing. Ed, so, look, but did you, did you have a couple of sleepless nights? Did you have any moments of... When we'd like, we hadn't made the finals for four years, I had a lot of sleepless nights. All right, good, good answer. <laughs> Thank you. Quite good for you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Ross, is your reputation of churning through assistant coaches unfair? I, I think so. I, I think I had some incredibly great assistant coaches. I was a hard taskmaster. But I think that's based on the assumption that they're all perfect and they all work in the way you want to. So... Um, but I did modify and I did delegate more. So uh, there's probably some elements that I was hard on some, but... Um, Sub-question, did you part ways with Stephen Silvani to save your friendship? No. Okay. No, he'd had enough. <laughs> we had two losing grand finals. He wanted to win one. He went back to property. <laughs> and, Matthew, I'll leave the final one to you. Of all the coach sackings over the last decade, in your mind, which was the most unfair... I'd say Brett Ratton, Caro, on that question. And I think not too many get a second chance, but it's fantastic he did because uh, he finished fifth two years before he was sacked. He, I think, tenth in his last season, but he knew he was going to be losing his job. And you now I think they were on the right path at Carlton. They thought Mick Mouldhouse could finish the job, which he didn't. And Ratton was very, very uh, the harshest person to lose his job, I would have thought. So. Yeah. Terrific, Ed. Thank you for that. Thank you very much, Caroline. That was a wonderful fight. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs>